to look at how to solve uh, the, for the long run multipliers in an R2 regressive distributed like model. First of all, let's take as an example a simple ARDL model with one like on the exogenous variable and one like on the endogenous variable. So we have an equation of this form. Yt equals beta 1 plus beta 2 xt plus beta 3 xt minus 1 plus beta 4 yt minus 1 plus the random error to ut. Now when we solve for the long run multipliers, what we're interested in doing is solving for the effects of x on y when all the dynamics have worked themselves out. In other words, when the equation has settled down to an equilibrium. So suppose y and x have settled down to equilibrium values. We can remove the t subscripts from here, so that we have y equals beta 1 plus beta 2x plus beta 3x plus beta 4 y. And we ignore the random error term, again, because we're solving for an equilibrium solution here. So solving this equation out, we'll have y equals beta 1 over 1 minus beta 4 plus beta 2 plus beta 3 over 1 minus beta 4 times x. And it's this coefficient here that's the long run multiplier. So we work out the long run multiplier by adding together the coefficients on the x variables and then dividing by 1 minus the coefficients on the y variable. Now let's generalise this to a case in which we've got um, uh, uh, more than one uh, like on the exogenous and the endogenous variables. In other words, let's consider a general ARDL PQ model. Now we can write a model of this form as yt equals an intercept mu plus the sum from i equals 0 to p of beta i times x t minus i plus the sum from i equals 1 to q of gamma i times y t minus i plus the random error term u t. Now if we want to solve for the long run equilibrium of this, the solution method is exactly the same as it was for the ARDL11 model. We solve for the equilibrium by setting y equal to a constant value and x equal to a constant value. And in this case, we'll get out a long run multiplier, which will be the sum of the beta i's from i equals 0 to p, divided by 1 minus the sum of the gamma i's from i equals 1 to q. Okay? So this is the general form of the long run multiplier expression. Okay. Now you'll sometimes see it referred to in questions as calculation of the long run elasticity. Well, that's exactly the same thing. The only minor qualification is that for this to be a long run elasticity, these have to be logarithmic values. So we calculate an elasticity when we've got a log linear equation, and if these are logs, then we have the elasticity rather than just a multiplier.